Couple shear zones here. You can see there's the oxidization in behind. Mixed in with your volcanic rock, you have a little bit of sulfides. Lots of uh, epidote stringers, which uh, look like they've formed in rock fractures. So I chipped out uh, a couple of these. Some of these are mineralized and some of them aren't. Take a look here. You got pyrotization and you got your epidote stringers. Again, we've got more samples here. Mix of coarse and fine grained iron pyrite. Looks like it might have a uh, little bit of chalcopyrite in there, but probably going to be fairly low values for copper. One last one here. Another little shear cutting through here. This is what the host rock looks like. It's been fairly altered. Lots of hydrothermal activity here. Anyway, we found a couple more samples. Just grab samples down below this. Most of the shear here looks like this. Where your oxidized portions are, there's little specks of iron pyrite, but don't see too much of anything else under the loop. Right there, you got some pyrite. And we have confirmed a bit of gold here. I don't know if you can see that little speck right there. But there's a couple of those. It's definitely gold. You can notice it under the loop. Nothing crazy, but definitely bring some values.